good morning to everyone and today we are going to discuss about transfer biasing it is very very important in the examination point of view okay that is transfer biasing so what is transistor biasing generally okay so here this is the types of transistors npn transistor and pnp transistor but why we are going to discuss about transistor biasing so without biasing at any active devices cannot be run is it clear so we must give a supply voltage to the active devices then only the current will flow in the circuit okay now what is biasing generally biasing is a applying external supply voltage to the circuit so what is biasing biasing is a applying external supply voltage to the circuit okay what kind of circuit here that is npn transistor and pnp transistor okay right so in this biasing there are three reasons are there first of all let us know that okay transistor regions in these three regions are there okay all are biasing so now first one is active region saturation region and cut off region in these three regions which one is suitable for our in this transistor biasing first one active region in active region only at any electronic circuit which is suitable only for active region not by the saturation cut off region okay so what is active region it consists of two supply voltages one is forward bias and other one is reverse bias in this circuit let us take npn transistor in this npn transistor here emitter base and collector okay here emitter base and collector now this is n region n p n okay between emitter and base junction which is connected as a supply voltage that is forward bias okay now here n region in emitter n in base p so n is going to connect to the negative terminal and p is going to connect to the positive terminal okay then it is called as forward bias do you remember operation of forward bias condition in pn junction diode okay let me draw here you can able to understand this is p type n type and this is going to connect to the supply voltage for assumption you can able to understand very easily concept okay that's why i remember you p type n type it is a forward bias condition okay of pn junction diode p is going to connect to the positive terminal n is going to connect to the negative terminal okay then here p in p region what are the charge gains present holes in n region electrons okay so always this holes will attract with pass to no pass to pass to repel each other similarly electrons electrons also repel each other so that when increasing this voltage then these holes move towards the p type to n type and these electrons move towards the n type to p type across the junction across the junction recombination takes place then the current will flow in the case of forward bias similarly here between emitter and base junction respect to n type and p type okay so it is axis of forward bias emitter base junction is always forward bias and collector base junction is always reverse bias is it clear so emitter base junction is always forward bias in the sense you must connect p type is connected to the positive terminal of the battery n type is going to connect to the negative terminal of the battery so it is for a best condition now in p region i mean collector and base junction it is acts as a reverse bias simply you can take same circuit i can reverse the supply voltage and it is nothing but reverse bias okay so these holes attract with negative why because positive terminal negative will attract each other so positive is going to connect to attract with negative 
electrons will attract with positive then what will happen that is increases of the depletion region so it acts as a reverse bias condition okay so it is reverse bias p type is connected to the negative and n type is connected to the positive terminal then it acts as a reverse bias so it consists of active region so this is forward bias and this is reverse bias this kind of mode which is called as active region okay whereas saturation region is nothing but both the cases m12 base junction forward bias collector base junction also forward bias but this kind of mode it is not operated in the electronic circuits okay that's why we cannot prefer saturation region and in the case of cutoff region both the cases forward bias condition i mean m12 base junction and a collector bias junction both the cases which is connected as a reverse bias if you connect reverse bias condition then the circuit will not be operated which means no current flows into the this circuit okay do you understand now if you go for saturation in the sense the circuit both the forward bias i mean uh, m12 bias junction and the collector bias junction both the circuit will acts as a forward bias condition at the time there is a possibility to get heat generated in the circuit that's why we cannot prefer saturation and cut off region in the sense both the cases reverse bias so no more current flows into the circuit that's why we cannot prefer saturation and cut off and we can go for only active region is it clear then the circuit will act as a active region so this is the how the biasing which is connected in the npn transistor okay so this is called as operation i mean transistor biasing of npn transistor how it will be connected okay similarly when comes to the pnp transistor okay pnp transistor so here what is the difference between npn and pnp transistor you must know the concept about these two in generally in applications which is which one is preferring as you know that npn transistor only why because the mobility of charge carriers the mobility of charge carriers such carriers are electrons or holes so which one is moving fast in the case of uh, charge carriers that is electrons moving faster than the holes electrons moving faster than the holes that's why they can prefer in applications most probably widely they can use npn transistor circuit okay npn transistor okay so in pnp transistor here holes are the in the presence in the p type electrons are present in the n type and holes are present in the p type okay so holes are moving from emitter to base and base to collector okay and now similarly you can use same mode that is what active region here also emitter base junction which is connected as a supply voltage as forward bias p is connected to the positive terminal n is connected to the negative terminal okay why because it acts as a forward bias so that you must connect only positive to positive negative to negative if you connect reverse in the sense there is no flow of current then meaning of reverse bias but m12 bias junction is always forward bias condition only that's why you must connect the supply voltage between m12 bias junction is forward bias that is p is connected to the positive n is connected to the negative then it acts as a forward bias then the current will flow okay whereas collector bias junction it is a reverse bias condition so that p is connected to the negative n is connected to the positive okay so this is nothing but the transistor biasing of pnp transistor okay and then in this transistor regions which one is suitable for this transistor biasing only for active region active region consisting of two supply voltages one is forward bias and other one is reverse bias okay whereas saturation region both the cases forward bias and forward bias whereas in cutoff region both the cases are reverse bias and reverse bias 
Among these three regions, which one is preferring for in our transfer by essential codes? That is only active region. You must remember in whole electronic circuit, which one is applying for uh, circuit in the sense uh, which supply voltage we can go for the active region. Okay, that is the concept about transistor biasing. Okay, what is biasing in the sense? Biasing is a applying external supply voltage to the circuit. Okay, so if you have any doubts regarding this concept, please drop a message in my comment box. I will uh, reply to you. Okay, thank you for watching my video.